Inside this bag right here is a story, the beginning of a story. How I got here. At least I hope this starts inside this bag, otherwise this isn't going to go very well. And when I say here, I don't mean here in Canada, I mean here talking to a camera. Back in 2001, I was a very, very grubby, dirty skateboard kid who, like a lot of other people and people I hung out with, watched skateboard videos and Jackass and CKY, and I wanted to make my own versions of those. Even though I was absolutely terrible, I never really got any good, but I wanted to make those videos. And 2001-ish, roughly, it's when I'm... I think I'm pinpointing when this all happened. I, uh, video wasn't a thing, you know, like it is today. But I walked into my local town, Farnborough Town Center, and I went to a store called Dixon's, which that store does not exist anymore. I don't even think that brand exists anymore. Uh, I walked in and I can vividly remember walking directly in the store. There was a big kind of aisle, aisle like pole holding up the roof. Clearly, that's how buildings are designed. And I walked around the other side of it. And don't ask me how this memory is so vivid, but there's obviously a reason that I remember it. And I remember looking up and seeing something on a shelf. Let's get a knife. Kniffy. I really hope this is what I think it is. <laughs> this right here is the very first camera, well, digital camera I ever owned, which I shot my very first video clip on, which I actually have, and we'll play right here. This is it. Obviously, it's not the one that I had, like the physical one I had. I don't even know what happened to that. I can't remember it. But this is the exact model, steel sealed in the box, from, uh, does it say right there? Can you see that? 2001. Called the Cool Eye Cam Micro Cam, a digital keychain digital camera with a uh, two megabyte internal memory, a webcam feature, takes two AAA batteries, has a hanging ring, includes easy to use, fun imaging, and creative stof software? software. Minimum requirements for uh, for your PC. Mac OS version 8.6 to 9.2, one USB port, 64 megabytes of RAM, but 128 megabytes is recommended. 150 megabytes of disk space, wow. CD-ROM drive. A color monitor with high color, 800 by 600 resolution, 16 bit of graphics. And you need a mouse and a keyboard. Uh, Windows 98 SE being the minimum you can use. Wow. And if you want to use it as a webcam, minimum internet requirements, 56K modem. Any questions? Need help? Call us. I wonder if that number's still active. That would be interesting. I'm not gonna bother, but yeah. Funny that this was actually made in Chicago, Illinois. That's probably why I was able to get it on eBay. Let's open it up. Oh, this is that terrible packaging that's like, still has a, that's weird, eh? Like that, that's, that is air from 2001 that's being breathed for the first time in a long time. Look at this. What do you get? This right here. Oh, look at that. It's not even a, what? Well, that's not even a mount that exists anymore. I don't think that even is a mount. That's before things were standardized. That is a absolutely terrible looking USB cable. Batteries. Two AAA batteries. I wonder if they still work. And uh, what's this? It's weird that I don't remember any of this stuff. You'd think it would jog my memory. Oh, I think that goes on there, like this. Yeah, there we go. CD-ROM. I don't even have anything that would you could put one of these in anymore. It doesn't exist in the house. I was a little bit skeptical as to whether this was the exact one, but now having held it in my hands and feeling, feeling it open and close like this, that, that's literally it. That is the little guy right there. And you know how I know this is the one? Because all you had on the back to see was that little display right there that shows you how many pictures you had taken or how many you had left. There's your webcam stand. Let's put these batteries in. I'm interested to see if these will stay with batteries as a test you can do. If you drop it and it either bounces or it, it falls and just drops, it means it, it doesn't have power in it, but 
Jeez, they just bounced. So I think that means they have power in them. I think it's if they drop and they, they don't bounce, then they don't have power. All right, should we see if it works? It should work. I mean, it's just been sat in a box all these years. It feels like it's gonna break. Why don't you open? Do you need a screw? There we go, doing it wrong. All right, moment of truth. Is there gonna be a sound? I can't even remember. Here we go. Oh, let down doesn't work. <laughs> no, batteries don't work. All right, we'll get some more. We'll return after these messages. This cost me $20, I believe, shipped. I think it came from the UK, if I uh, remember rightly. Bought it a few, week a few weeks back now. eBay. Oh, I remember now. So, you get a very, very... This is so poorly designed. <laughs> get in there. Very um, fantastic. Can you see that there? Is it going to focus and move my eyes out of the way? Probably not. 20 images. So when you take a picture. I gotta remember what these modes are. I'm gonna have to read the manual. So you have LR mode, CT mode, ST mode, CL mode. And I don't know what any of those mean, but yeah. That is, um, that's a blast from the past. And that is what I shot my very ever first video clip on it led me to uh where i am today making silly videos for the internet thanks for watching